to GregoryG.com. My name is Gregory G. And uh, today we're going to talk about minor scales. I had a request sent in to me, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, cover this. And might I add, if anyone has any uh, suggestions for a lesson, please feel free to uh, to email me or uh, post a comment below to uh, let me know what you want to hear about. Um, so minor scales. So my, right off the bat, I would say um, most clarinet players know their Behrman scales. Um, in the Behrman book, I believe it's page... 224, something like that, 200 something, uh, but it's a scale exercise that takes you through 12, uh, all, actually 24 scales, uh, all your major and minor scales, um, we'll put the sounds on. That's a great way to learn the scales. However, if you want to actually hear the scales and figure them out for yourself, uh, which I would strongly suggest doing, um, there's a, I mean, there, there are different methods to going about that. But um, there are three, um, there are three uh, minor scales, the most popular minor scales out there. Um, first of all, I would also say you have to have a complete mastery of your major scales. Um, so for our purposes, we're going to go ahead and give. The major scale. We're going to give every note in the major scale a uh, a number, uh, scale degrees. Uh, so we're thinking C major right now. C gets a one, D two, E three, F four, G five, A six, B seven, and then back to the top. And C gets a one or eight. <clears throat> so your first minor scale is the Aeolian mode, or the uh, natural minor scale. Uh, this is the uh, the first minor scale. So what you're going to do is you're going to flat the 3, 6, and 7. Um, that's one way of thinking about it. You can also think into the, uh, the relative major um, if you want to, or the relative minor. You can, um, let's say you want a C minor scale. So you're going to go ahead and think up a minor third and use the key signature of E flat. So E flat has three flats, E flat, A flat, and B flat, uh, which is the same thing as flat 3, flat 6, flat 7. So if you play that, you have uh, this. And that's your C natural minor scale. Uh, you have, um, once you get your C natural minor scale, you can build the other two natural minor scales off of that. Uh, we have a harmonic minor scale, which is going to be a flat 3 and a flat 6. scale does have that, that leading tone, the, the B natural, um, the regular seventh. Um, that one does have a lot more pull onto it, a lot more dissonance than the, uh, the natural minor scale. Uh, once you get both of those, you have the melodic minor scale. Um, in classical music, uh, traditionally, it has an ascending and descending form. However, in jazz, uh, most j jazz musicians usually only play the, um, the ascending form. Uh, ascending, you're going to have just a flat three. It's a major scale with a flat three. Uh, once you reach that, you're going to come down to the natural minor scale, which we already learned, which has three flats, uh, B flat, A flat, and E flat. And those are your three, um, three minor scales. I keep wanting to say major minor scales. But um, those are the most popular minor scales out there. Um, I would suggest taking all the scales into 12 keys. Uh, you can practice them different ways. Uh, for example, you can practice them in thirds. Uh, you can practice them in anything you can think of. You can practice them in seven chords. fifth, sixth, um, anything you want. Um, you truly get a mastery of these scales. Uh, once you get those three scales, I would suggest uh, start looking into the modes, um, especially if you want to start playing jazz. Um, the two, actually the three, the three modes, uh, these are the Greek modes, Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. Um, the three of those are minor, the Dorian, Phrygian, and Aeolian. Uh, 
Uh, you already know the alien, which is the same thing as the natural minor, which we uh, previously covered, which is the first one we talked about. Uh, the Dorian is actually a minor scale with just a flat two and a flat seven. Uh, that's the most common uh, jazz, jazz minor scale. Um, we also have Phrygian, which is going to have a uh, flat 2, flat 3, flat 6, and flat 7, which is definitely the most exotic. Uh, maybe you can call it Arabic if you want to. Um, Phrygian. Uh, then Aeolian is actually the same thing as the natural minor. Um, so yeah, so once you get all these minor scales, uh, you have a lot of work ahead of you to truly master them. Um, if anyone has any uh, questions or comments, please feel free to, to uh, send me an email or anything like that, and hopefully this helps.